Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to Strength One class. I'm kind of getting everything set up here. Please take a look at the description. Uh, this is like every strength class. Whatever equipment you have, it's beneficial to have near you. Um, so I've got resistance bands. I only have one dumbbell, so I have that with me. And then I also have a glute band. So if you don't know what that is, um, you will want some type of resistance band today if you have it. So that's my loop band here. If you have like a therapy band, um, one that you can tie together, you're also going to be able to tie that around your uh, legs later on today, okay? Make sure you've got some space. Get set up here. All righty, guys. We're going to start off with a nice little warm-up. I've got my resistance band. I'm going to start off with my warm-up today. Uh, if you have any type of band, this will work. If you do not have a band, you're going to be just doing some slow shoulder circles with us, okay? So we're going to take this band. We're going to grab palms down, a little wider than shoulder width, get a little bend in those knees, core nice and tight, and let's go up and over our head. Now I want you to only go to the point that you feel comfortable and you're feeling a stretch. So if you're stuck up top here, keep those arms straight and then come right back down. As you start to loosen up those shoulders, if you can, you can go all the way behind you here. Big thing is I don't want to bend in those elbows. I don't want you pulling it back. I want this nice and relaxing. We've got upper body push and lower body pull today. So we're going to focus on shoulders and chest, a little bit of triceps today, um, and then a lot of glute and hamstrings, okay? Ooh, let's do two more here. Good, relax. Go ahead and set that band down, guys. We're going to do some chest openers, so elbows slightly bent. We're going to overlap those arms, opening up for our chest, closing it back up. And when you're ready, I want you to throw in a little heel kick. Warming up those hamstrings as well. Get you moving on this Monday here. Doesn't feel like a Monday. I don't know. I feel like last week went by so quickly. Three, two, and one. Relax. Let's go ahead and take those feet underneath our hips. Get a straight back. Hands behind our head. We're going to do some good mornings. Push those hips back. Squeeze those glutes up top. If you feel comfortable with your form, you can have your hands on your hips as well. Last one here, guys. Woo. All right, let's bring it back forward. Let's just do some tiny little shoulder circles, bringing it forward. And take it backwards, still keeping nice and small. Good, relax. Take those feet a little wider than shoulder width. We're going to do some windmills here. So we have arms straight, opposite arm, opposite foot, reaching down toward those toes, coming right back up. And in just a second, we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to bring our legs up to meet our hands in three, two, and one. So now we're going opposite hand, opposite foot, lifting, getting that core involved. Two more. And relax. All right, guys, I know my, <laughs> my shoulders are already sore this week, which is crazy. So I don't know if you're sore as well, but again, we're going to be working shoulders, chest, triceps, and some glutes and hamstrings. As always, guys, if you have a resistance band and no dumbbells or no weights, and you have a door anchor, the door anchor, door anchor will be really useful for you. Um, if you have any questions about that, please make sure to comment. I can talk to you more about it for future classes. But again, have all your equipment here. You will need some type of weight for the first exercise today, whether that's a, a bottle of laundry detergent or something, okay? So, we're going to go through all the exercises together real quick. 
Our first circuit is going to be 10 minutes long. We're going to do as many sets as we can. So let's go over the exercises. Practice with me, guys, so you feel comfortable for, before we get going. So our first one, I'm going to get my music back. All right, the first one is are going to be what are typically called kettlebell swings. We're going to call them dumbbell swings today. So you're going to get a nice flat back. My feet are about hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider, depending on what you're comfortable. We're going to squat down to get that weight. And then from here, guys, I want you to pull those shoulders back. And it's almost like you're going to start by hiking a football behind you, okay? So we're going to let it come behind us, and then we're going to pull up. We're going to squeeze our glutes. That weight is coming shoulder height here, okay? Now, it's real important that I'm not going all the way to the floor. I shouldn't bend over. I want to keep my gaze up, chest up nice and tight, or nice and tall, and then my core is nice and tight. Obviously, be careful as the weight goes between your legs. Uh, depending if you have a dumbbell, if you have a kettlebell, great. That's what this is. Uh, this movement's kind of designed for. I would recommend not using bands. It's a little complicated, especially without me there to help you guys with that form. So please grab, like I said, a laundry detergent bottle. If your weight's not heavy, put two dumbbells together. Same thing, okay? So that's our first movement today. Our second movement is going to be single arm kneeling shoulder press. So if you have knee pain, guys, please make sure to roll up a mat, throw a pillow, throw something under this knee. So if I'm going to press with my right arm, that means my left leg is going to be forward, okay? So we've got that balance. Now, before you grab that weight, we're squeezing this glute. Hips are forward, core is tight. And this front heel should be stacked right underneath that knee. From there, we're going to grab that dumbbell, tuck in that elbow. Again, core is nice and tight. I'm going to press that weight up overhead and then bring it right back down to my shoulder. Now, two options. You can keep that wrist in the same position or you can rotate that wrist forward as you press and rotate it back in as you bring it down. Your choice, but you're gonna do one side, then you're immediately gonna flip and do the other side. And then the third exercise of this first circuit that we've got is a close grip uh, chest press. So let's go over it. Now, I only have one dumbbell, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it with one heavy dumbbell. If you have two dumbbells, guys, you are gonna press those dumbbells together. So imagine I've got two, or if you've got one as well, that's fine. But if you have both, you're pressing them together. So our elbows should be kind of tucked in here. Head's gonna relax on the floor. We're gonna start up nice and tall. We're gonna slowly bring it down and then press up. So close grip, you're gonna feel it a little bit more in those triceps, okay? Instead of our typical chest press out, so you'll be pressing like this, we're gonna bring it together so palms are facing in and we're getting those triceps involved. So those are the first three movements. If you're like, well, how many reps are we doing? Check out the description. So the dumbbell swings are the ones we're gonna do the most of. So you have 10 to 15 reps. If you have a heavier weight, Stay down to 10. If you have lighter weight, go up to 15, okay? Or if it feels good, go up to the 15 range. Everything else is eight to 12 reps. So same thing with the shoulder press. If your weight's light, do more reps. If it's heavy, do less reps, okay? You're in charge of it. I'm gonna put a timer on for 10 minutes and you're gonna go at your own pace. So that being said, I wanna get everything done today. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Putting on my timer. So make sure you've got everything set up. So if you're using a door anchor, um, so that's a great little point too, is if you don't have the dumbbells for the close grip uh, bench press, put the door anchor up or bring your resistance band around a stable surface. So like a table leg or something that's not gonna move. You'll grab the handles and you'll do the same thing, but with a resistance band, okay? So even if you don't have a weight, you're still taken care of on that. All right, guys, 10 minutes. We're gonna start with those swings. Please be careful on the swings. If you don't feel comfortable with the swings, guys, a deadlift will do. So you can always just keep those knees bent and you can just do a deadlift instead of the swing. All right, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. 
Squeeze those glutes. Keep that core tight. All right, you bring it to the floor again. You can use a pad if you want. Eight to 12 each arm. Whew. My weight's heavy today, so I'm gonna stick with eight reps. Make sure to switch leading legs. Get nice and sturdy first. And then close grip, chest press. Remember bands are either together or you've got both weights pressed together or one weight. Nice and slow down, and then a little quicker up top. Eight to 12 reps. Watch that form here. Stay nice and sturdy. You got this, guys. Come on. Six minutes, guys, so I'm right on pace to try to do four sets. It's okay if you only get three sets in, or maybe you do a little bit more than that. Again, make sure you're not feeling this in low back on those swings. You want to keep that core tight, keep a nice range. You don't want to lean too far back. You want to stay forward here. Always put one knee on that band. Same thing. 
So you're still pressing it up overhead. No one should be able to push you over. You should be so sturdy that you shouldn't be swaying, okay? Don't give up guys, come on, we're almost there. See how far we can get. We're not stopping. Ooh, anything extra is just bonus. Relax. Nice job, guys. 
All right, while you guys are grabbing a drink and catching your breath here, I'm gonna show you our next little segment. I'm gonna change my timer here. All right, let's go. All right, guys. So first one, you will need a band. We're just gonna do two sets of this. So I've got a glute band. If you do not have a glute band and you've got like a physical therapy band, you're gonna tie that about two inches above your knees, tie it to the level of tightness that you want the resistance on. We're gonna do monster walks. So what this is gonna look like, again, about two inches above your knees, it's a zigzag. So we're gonna come out at an angle, we're staying low in a squat, step halfway in, other angle, halfway in. So we're gonna go forward, and then we're also gonna take it backwards, okay? You should feel this all in those glutes. That's the first movement. Second movement, we're gonna be tricep kickbacks. Now, if you have two light dumbbells, you're just gonna kick that back. If you have the bands, we're gonna step right on top here, elbows in, and you're gonna kick those back. Then we have alternating front and lateral raises. So again, if you have dumbbells, you can use dumbbells. If you have soup cans, it's fine. If not the band, you can just step one foot forward, and then out to the side, okay? Just pick an accompanying resistance that feels good for you. So, let's get ready, guys. We're doing two sets here. So, you know what that means. We wanna make these two sets count for sure. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I've got everything on there. Awesome. All right, guys, get ready, get that loop band on. 40 seconds work followed by 20 second rest. We're getting ready. 10 seconds. Monster walk first. Three, two, one, here we go. Diagonal walk, keeping low in that squat, feeling that resistance in our glutes. Chest is up. Our feet aren't touching together. It's a half step in, guys. We want to keep that resistance on that band. Halfway. Woo! 10 seconds. We're making the most of this 40 seconds. Three, two, one, 20 seconds, so we're gonna slip off that band. Oops. I changed my, sorry, I changed my rest time. All right, get ready. Feet underneath those hips if you're doing it with the band. Three, two, one, elbows in. Kick it back, big squeeze. Come on, 40 seconds. If you have dumbbells, it's probably gonna be a little easier for you if you still wanna keep those elbows glued to your sides. Keep that core tight, guys, come on. Halfway there. 15 seconds, push through. 10 seconds. Woo. Three, two, one. All right, you got 20 seconds rest. I'm gonna switch my bands because I know this is gonna be too hard for me on those raises. If I can do it fast enough. Seven seconds. Three, two, one, all right, I'm a little behind, but front and lateral raises here. So again, if you're on that band, we're looking up and then out to the side. You're gonna do one foot for less resistance, two feet for more. Keep that core tight, nice and controlled, right up to shoulder height. Whew, we're just alternating. 
Nice sturdy back, guys. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you recover. 10 seconds. I know it burns. Two, one, relax. All right, I'm gonna give you guys again 20 second break. We're gonna get ready to start back with that band. We're gonna do one more set of everything. So you're gonna wanna make it count. This is a burnout. All right, 10 seconds. That band side, three, two, one. Sit down in that squat, let's go. Diagonal, come on, monster wall. Halfway there. Halfway, guys, come on. Keep breathing. Today, but she's going to be at least posting some type of stretching routine at 12:15 today. So if you can do that, please stick around. I'm just going to do a couple quick stretches with us together, and then I'll set you guys free. So let's go ahead and start hands behind our back. I know your shoulders are probably tight and they're probably angry right now, but pull those shoulders back. You can lean forward if you'd like. Good. Slowly bring it back up to center. And release those fingers, push your chest out here. And now let's bring it up overhead. Good, take your right hand down, grab that elbow with your left hand, gentle pull back, try to keep your chin off your chest here. Good, let's switch sides, left elbow back. Take deep breaths here, guys, in through your nose, out through your mouth. 
Good, relax, let's take that right arm across. Uh, it is 12 o'clock now, so if you do have a meeting to go to. Good, switch sides. Good, we're gonna do three deep breaths together. We're gonna stretch out those hamstrings, so get those feet under your hips. Knees are gonna be loose, so they're not locked here, okay? Just a little bit of a bend. You're gonna find, if you're gonna hang with your hands on your thighs, shins, toes, or maybe you're going all the way to the floor, you can also grab your elbows and hang loose. Find what feels best for you. So let's do the first one together here. So let's take a big inhale up, and let's exhale, swan dive down, nice and easy. Find the point that you wanna hang out. Again, I'm gonna reach down. You can keep your hands mid thigh, wherever you want. Feel that stretch in the back of your legs. All right, one vertebrae at a time. Nice and easy, big inhale back up. Exhale, swan dive down. See if you can go a little bit lower. One vertebrae at a time, back up. Big inhale, sweep. Exhale, reach. Last one, guys. Now, while you're at the bottom, spread those feet a little wide. Walk your hands to the right leg. And walk them over to the left side. Back to center. And one vertebrae at a time. Back up. Thank you guys so much for joining me this Monday. My name is Kayla. This was Strength One. We did upper body push, lower body pull. Stay tuned for Lori's stretch class at 12.15. Tomorrow is going to be uh, hit and stretching. And then on Wednesday, we've got Strength Two with Lori. So she'll do the opposing muscle groups. Don't forget, this is registration week for Maintain, Don't Gain. It's starting next week. So make sure to send an email to either myself or Lori um, saying that you want to sign up. It's free. It's going to be an eight-week program getting you through the holidays. Let's do this together. Drop a comment if you did the class, and drop a comment if you have questions about this week. Thanks, guys.